hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about the most important and the most interesting topic in c++ as you know that most of the programmers while writing a simple c++ code do a lot of minor mistakes and we call those mistakes are called bugs and uh, as you know that a good c++ program should be free of bugs and uh, i'm going to start the series on this topic called bugs in c++ and in this series i will teach you about the common bugs that will happen in C++ while writing the code and uh, how you can avoid these bugs and why these bugs happens and where it happens. So if you are new on my channel, you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads on this series. Today I'm going to just talk about the most common bug that every programmer faced in his lifetime called segmentation fault code dump. And we will see why this bug happens and where it happens and how we can avoid this bug so i will write a simple c++ program for you to get the proper understanding of this bug so let's move on my computer screen so guys open your compiler i am using the visual studio code and i have created a simple project bug example and in this i have created a empty cpp file uh -huh. so the first example we are going to see is the example of the recursive function and we will see why in the recursive method the segmentation fault error happens and how we can avoid it and uh, why it happens and where it happens so uh, first of all i have to include some important headers so i'm just going to use the io stream and after that we will create a recursive function and i'm naming this function just check and i'm just passing one variable called num and uh, inside this function i am creating one more variable called res result and in this variable i am going to store some calculation and this calculation just checks if the number is even or odd so for example if the number is even so it will go inside this block and uh, it will run this block and after the, this block it will terminate this function and over programs and successfully so in this block i am just uh, print something like calling even and uh, it should be a string and after this i will just call the end line it will shift the cursor to the next line and after that if the number is else if it's uh, after that if the number is odd so it will go into this else statement and what it will do it will print something like it will calling this block and in this block it will just calling this block if the number is odd so we'll write here is odd and uh, we will call this function again inside the function calling the same function inside the function is called the recursive method and we are calling the same function check here and i am just adding uh, the if the number is odd so i am adding the number in two so after adding the two it will again become the odd number so it will call this function again and again and again and again and it will never end for example here i will print one more thing called odd and uh, here i will just print end as you can see after running this block it should terminate the program successfully but it will never happen because it will call this function again and again and again and again and again and it will generate the error of segmentation fault so after that i will write my main program and in this main program i will call my function check and uh, for example if i pass the even number so and uh, i will compile my program and i will run the output here as you can see it is just calling even and it will terminate the program successfully and for example now if i will pass the odd number here so if i run my pro compile my program again and run my program again as you can see it will calling odd 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 recursively and it will never end and uh, as you can see it is not uh, printing this end here because the code is crashed the program is crashed because of the segmentation fault as you can see the program is crashed so it is crashed because of the segmentation fault error actually when you create a variable in c++ it takes some space inside the memory inside your computer and it will store in the stack memory and the stack memory has a limit so for example in this case when you are calling the function again and again and again and again so this function is consist of some variables and parameters so when you call the function again and again and again so it will add the memory like a stack up and up and up and up and up and when the limit of the stack is over after calling this function several times and storing using all of its memory limit it will crash the program so in order to avoid this you have to check these type of mistakes while calling the recursive function and next we are going to see the another example of the segmentation fault error 
cause by using the array method so first i am going to create a array of limited size for example 10 and uh, next i am going to fill this array with some digits for this i have to write the i loop and i have to start the loop from the zeroth index and i have to run this loop for the size of the array which is 10 i have to increase the index after each loop now i have to fill my array with some digits so i am going to fill it with the index number and after this i will just print the elements of the array and for this i can simply write here std c out and my array i index and std l so that's it so if i will compile my program and i will run my output as you can see uh, our array of size 10 is created the, and the memory for all of these 10 elements are allocated in the stack and the stack has the enough limit to store all of these variables for example if i will increase the size of the array uh, with the six zeros here i will have to run the loop until the size of the array with the six zeros and now if i will run my program again and you will see it will not generating anything because the stack has not enough limited memory to store this array every element in this array needs a memory in the stack but the stack has not enough memory to store all of these elements that's why the program is crashed and it will not printing anything that's why it is generating the segmentation fault error for example if you are working on a very big project and in this project there may be a thousand of different variables and arrays and and all the variables and arrays uh, may be stored in the stack then you have to be very careful with the size of the arrays there to avoid the segmentation fault error uh, i hope you learned something from this video and if you like this video you can hit the like button and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new upload see you next time bye, -bye.